And finally, we come to the fourth sonata, which was written for Henry Rubin, who had been uh, culture master of the Brooklyn Philharmonic and married uh, one of our own graduates here, who had been concert mistress, Cynthia Virginal. And Cynthia decided to give a 50th birthday present to her husband, which would turn out to be the fourth sonata. And it would, he, uh, she had asked me if I would uh, make it very brilliant, which is what it is. And uh, it's a very much of a kind of, the first movement is like a very encapsulated uh, sonata form movement like you'd hear in you know, Mozart or Beethoven or something, except in, in form only. White Knight uh, doesn't necessarily mean the White Knights of Moscow. It means Nuit Blanche, which means a night when you can't sleep. And the, uh, the idea is that the man is sleeping in his bed or trying to sleep and uh, in kind of desperation trying to get rid of his insomnia, somehow an old tune or somehow a little bit garbled comes back into his mind and he thinks that's going to make him go to sleep because it's like a kind of a Christmas carol. Peter Shepard, who was a wonderful English fiddler, played this piece once and his Danish wife said, what is that? What is it? That sounds... And she said, that's just like a Christmas carol I grew up with in Denmark. And it must be, there was this kind of a memory, a half kind of... So that anyway, the trouble is that instead of putting him to sleep, it keeps him awake. <laughs> Arabesque, which is the next one, which is very influenced by uh, um, Arabic music again. And it turns out that uh, Constantine was in Cairo, as a matter of fact, sometime recently, was listening to Kalthum in, the, on the, in the, uh, one of the recordings, and there's one little motive in there, which is straight out of that kind of music, and he said, my head is there it is, and you'll notice in the arabesque. The other thing is I know that the recording that uh, our friends here, the Greens, who've done a wonderful recording of the Four Violence and Nazis are right here, uh, one of the reviews from Britain was wondering what that instrument was that went bump in the middle of the arabesque. It's nothing but taking a knuckle and hitting the belly of the, of the violin. At the same time, you pizzicato, which makes it sound rather like a, a tabla, the tuned Indian drums. And the arabesque goes in directly to the jota, which is a very fast 3-8 uh, um, uh, uh, Spanish dance, which has very strong Moorish overtones about it. And the end is a very grand brillante ending. And I hope this will be a brillante ending for this very long marathon. Thank you all for sticking with us, and uh, here they are.